I think that's as good as the lighting is gonna get, sadly. Kim here, welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to start doing book reviews and I just, I feel like my, my review skills are just not up to par, especially with these booktube pros that are so just perfect at, at reviewing, okay? I'm not great at it. I just, it died, I'm just, it is not a thing I'm good at. Um, but I have committed myself to getting better because I feel like it's a good skill to have and I feel like um, as a writer I should be able to do it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm better than I think. I have no idea, you guys. Here we go, I'm all over the place. I mentioned in my bookish facts about me video and several times on Twitter and things, I really dislike rating books with stars. It doesn't work for me. It works for many, not for this kid. So I just made my own system because I can do that. Like, it's fine. Well, nerd alert, but I came up with a 20 point book rating system for book reviews and book discussions. And I was just gonna go into a review and do that, um, but then I decided that I would kind of make a little pre-video first to explain it a little bit so that you can better understand um, what I mean when I say things. That's great. I'm super articulate today. 20 points makes a perfect book. I don't think I have ever read a perfect book. There have been some that have been close, but in all honesty, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if there's a such thing as the perfect book. Like, I feel like there are really, really good ones and really great ones and perfect for the time books, but I'm not sure if there's just something perfect. I think that writing is just too subjective and too interpretive that, that there can be something like that. Um, even classics and things, there are people that hate it. It's just like, it's just the way that it is. For me, if a book receives a perfect score, it gets 20 points. Um, yeah, so there are five categories in which I kind of break it down. Those categories are writing slash style, characters, story, pacing, and the ending. These are things that are important to me. They may not be as important to you. So in each category, a book can receive zero to four points. Um, I was gonna do one to five, kind of like stars, but then a perfect book would have been 25 and I wanted the score to end in a zero. I don't know why. Cause I'm weird like that, that's why. Zero is just the worst. Like that's what I've written down. I have the worst, like it's just awful. I felt like a book should not be like defaulted one point or one star. Like when you have to review on Goodreads, I don't think you, I've never had to give a zero star rating, but I don't think you can. Can you do that? Anyway, I felt like it wasn't like, it just, you should have to earn it from the beginning. You shouldn't just be given a, a point. Like, so if you can get zero, um, I've never read anything that has zero. That was just not something I think I would do, but anyway. So that means zero is the worst, just the worst. Like, ugh, like offensively bad. Uh, a one is bad, it's just not good. Ugh. Ugh, no. Okay, um, two is just fine. It was okay. It was fine. Uh, three is good. Three is, I liked it. Three is good, solid. Four is amazing, incredible, magnificent, glorious, perfection, better than perfection. Does that kind of give you an idea of where I'm at here? Okay, so um, I'm gonna break down these categories really fast and then that kind of should be it. Category number one is writing slash style. This is the, the author's voice, the uh, technical writing aspects, are they showing, not telling, that kind of thing, um, language and themes, like thesis, um, just morals if there are any, like what the author is really saying, that kind of stuff. Characters, number two. Personalities, likability, relatability, relationships between characters also. Is, the, is there a good villain? Yeah, is the bad guy a good one? That's important. The story is number three. Was it entertaining? How did the book make me feel? Like plot points, that kind of thing. Like really the, I guess that would be the bones of the story. 
Pacing. This is one that I feel like not enough people talk about when they review books because it's really important for me for a book to not move too slowly and especially for it to not move too quickly. I would rather have to kind of drudge through a slower paced book and have something happen than have too many things happen too quickly and I'm left feeling unsatisfied, like I'm left feeling kind of dizzy. I don't like that. So pacing, is it too fast? Is it too slow? Does it drag? Does it not go deep enough because it's moving too quickly? Lastly, number five is the ending slash conclusion. Did things wrap up too quickly? Is there not enough closure? Um, are things sort of just tacked on to the end that are like, okay, like you didn't really finish that? All those sorts of things. Is it too much of a cliffhanger? Like I'm okay with kind of a cliffhanger as long as I get some closure in some places or some answers. Like I don't want everything left open. So yeah, do I feel satisfied? Like do I feel like, yeah, I've reached the end of a story? That kind of thing. So those are the categories. And like I said, a book can get zero to four points per category. Four points is a perfect score in every category, which gives you 20 points, which is a perfect book. I'm hoping at the end of my reviews to give some notable quotes as well, so I really enjoyed the books. There you have it. That is how Kim will be reviewing books. Uh, I'm sorry if this video was kind of boring. I wouldn't not review this video a perfect 20 point score. I just kind of wanted to like dive into it a little so you can understand where I'm coming from and you understand just how I'm thinking about these things and, and the important things to me when I'm reading. I'm gonna start reviewing. I've got some things, I've got some book I gotta talk about, so. Thanks for watching, you guys. I love y'all, and we will see you in my next video.